soccer board. Exactly. That's why they do. Okay. That's why they do that. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. Says the man who grew up in Los Angeles. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another edition of Robot Mesh. I'm Chris Schultz, and I'm with my lovely assistant, Rick Tyler. Although I think he's my assistant. Oh, that may remains to be seen. But uh, today we're going to be talking about VEX IQ batteries and an issue that some of you may have had in the past and one that we frequently hear about are issues with the charging of VEX IQ batteries. So Rick, tell me what's happening here. So we're going to take a look at some battery here that you've, some of you may have experienced the flashing red light of doom. When you put a battery on a charger, normally it'll look red and red means charging normally. It turns green when the battery is fully charged and you can take it off the charger. Sometimes though, you'll get a battery which flashes red and that's what we're going to talk about today. There's a way to fix that and we're going to show you how to do that. Now, best guess, why is that happening? Is there software or something inside the charger where there's perhaps a fault or what would be the issue here? Yeah, there's, there's um, some evidence that this is the chargers are smart and if the charger detect a defective battery, they won't charge. And we think that the flashing red light means there's a problem with the battery. Um, we've noticed this happens with batteries that have very low charge levels okay. and lower than normal. So if you've discharged a battery too far, it may go into the state where it's so dead that the charger thinks that it's a defective battery instead of just one that has low voltage. Um, the IQ community has discovered a trick to solve this though, and that's what we're going to go through today. You mean smart people came up with a hack? Let's hear about it. Yeah, okay. So first of all, let's, we, got, we have a char of Fex IQ charger here with a... With a uh, Freshly charged battery, you see the green light? That means the battery's finished charging. And we're gonna take the battery off. And if you look on the bottom of the battery, you can't see it on the camera, but you'll see it on your battery. For looking from this end, there's a negative, negative battery connector on this side and a positive on this side. So we're gonna lay it on the table and use our little digital voltmeter. I think you can buy these for 20 bucks. They're not very expensive. Every VEX team should have one. Um, so we're gonna put it on the the, we're going to touch it to the metal leads on the bottom of the battery, and we're reading 8.37 volts. So you're saying to yourself, 8.37 is a fully charged battery, around there, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5. Um, they're a 7.2 volt battery, so remember that this voltage is with no load on it. The, if you put a load on it, that voltage will drop. So it's what they call nominally a 7.2 volt battery. So this is a good battery. We like this battery. Yay. Yay. So we have another battery here that uh, we're going to test. And we're going to put him on the charger. I like that. We're going to put him on the charger. And this guy, you can see that that is a red light on the charger. Wow. wow. And red light means charging normally. Okay. So we're going to see if a, this is a typical battery that needs to be charged and the voltage on this battery is 5.62 volts. And he will, if we leave him on the charger, he will charge up to full power and be fine. So solid red light, that's a good thing. It just means your battery is a little low and needs to be charged up. Now this guy here is, we think this is our troublemaker. So we'll, I like just the wild, my the wild abandoned. All right. I'm going to show you wearing your Seahawks jersey today. I'm slowly adapting, yes. Yes. Well, welcome to the, <laughs> welcome to the Northwest. Go Seahawks. Um, so we'll go to plug this guy in, and what we're seeing, instead of a solid red battery, which means light, which means charging, we're getting a flashing red light. Flashing red light is the indicator for a defective battery. So we're going to take this battery off, and just to give you a baseline, we're going to measure the voltage on it and we're getting, ooh, 1.34 volts. So this is not only a seven volt battery and we're getting 1.34 volts. So this is not happy, dead, defective. So the, what people that we're, we're trying to figure out, you can toss over your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. This is defective. Is that maybe if you gave it a little bit of a charge, it would, the charger would see it, which is ironic because you have to charge it up a little bit for the charger to see it. So we're going to put it in this, this VEX IQ brain, and if you notice, we can't, we won't turn on, I'm not going to try, it won't turn on, but a weird property of, a, of an electric motor is that an electric motor is just a generator hooked up backwards. So if we turn the wheels on our robot, you'll see the light on the brain flash on. This is or not. Or not. 
Well, there goes a healthy battery. Now let's see it. There goes a beautiful theory right down the side. Oh, there it goes. All right, I just didn't do it fast enough. You should be. This is you Morse. See, you see the white light now? Morse code for help me. Yes. You see it? Okay. Okay. So we just do this, and in fact, if you do it fast, you can just kind of roll your robot across the table. This is actually good exercise. But are you destroying your robot, Rick? No, you're not destroying your robot. Okay. It's not hard on the motors at all, doing this. Uh, no, because they're just. They're just simple DC motors, and when you run a DC motor by hand, it generates power. On the um, the old uh, Cortex robots for the EDR system, mm -hmm. do the same thing. Okay. You see the lights come on. Okay, so now, if, if, if our magic trick worked here, we should be able to pull this motor out of the brain. And this is a very old battery with a very old brain, and sometimes they stick. So there we go. So... All right, touch your fingers. So let's see. Let's check the charge level real quick. Two point eight nine volts. What did we say it was before? One point three seven. So we doubled the voltage charge on it. We just want to get the voltage up high enough that the charger realizes it's a battery. And there we go. It's magic. We now have a solid red light. And what does a solid red light mean? It means it's charging. It means it's charging. So we don't have a blinky red light anymore. So that's how you can that's how you can fix a battery that the charger thinks is dead as long as it's not really a defective battery now just as an extra bonus I have a fourth battery here that was um, returned by a customer and it's actually so low that we don't get any voltage reading in at all it's 0, 0.00 volts RIP so this battery has no charge at all so, and when we put him on the charger, I've never actually seen this before yesterday when I tested these batteries. Um, this is getting a green light with a little flashing red light. I'm guessing that means really bad. So, we may have a defective battery here, or maybe our magic trick will work on this one too. So, let's give it a try. Things are so bad, they could be good. I know, right? It's crazy. It's just crazy talk. So, we'll sit here, we'll just run it back and forth a few times. And Try to use our DC motors to generate a little voltage, charge up the battery just a little bit. And we'll see if we can fake it out. Or if this is a defective battery in this one, because we haven't tried this on this particular battery. And I'm sure these... Watching the hairs on your arm start to stand up here. <laughs> yes, it's an electrifying experience. So if we put like a light bulb in your mouth, do you think it would go on? <laughs> it's a very small light bulb. All right, we're going to test the voltage on it. And unfortunately, it's dead. Sometimes, no matter how many times you put the paddles on the patient, the patient dies. So I think what we've actually discovered here is this is actually a defective battery. Cool. And the charger with its green and red flashing light was telling us it was defective. So there you go. If you have a battery with a flashing red light on the charger, stick it in your robot, turn the wheels a few times, and pull it out and put it on the charger, and you should be good to go. Awesome. Thanks for the advice, Rick. That's it for today's edition of Robot Mesh. See you at robotmesh.com. And thank you. I would like to thank my lovely assistant, Chris, for oh, making me blush. Uh, but we'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See you next time.